Hello and welcome back to another episode of Beard Make of the Man. This week I've got myself a special guest, Ben from the Beard Guys. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show. Welcome back. We've also got uh, Shakira here in Shakira the. Shakira is here. She'll Sh- be... Shakira, Shakira, pipe down, Shakira. <laughs> she'll be. Uh, she'll be giving us her opinions later on. <laughs> she will uh, on Foshgate, letting she's, us know. She's just... acting as barmaid. I'm she'll. Uh, yeah, she... if we can uh, get her up here without those mountains <laughs> yeah. whacking the microphones out of the way. <laughs> Screws that. <laughs> then uh, and all should be fine. Sweet. So. But yeah. So yeah. that was a that was a pretty swifty intro. Good to intro, the Thank yeah. You. I, I, eight out of ten. Um, I'll do the next one. Yeah. See how they compare. Uh, so fair. this is episode two. We did episode one a couple of weeks ago, I guess, uh, which went down really well. That that blew my mind. So thank you very much for everyone who mm. everyone who watched uh, and liked and all that kind of stuff. But it got like pretty much like as many views and likes as an episode of Battlebeards, which leads me to believe. We pretty much don't even really need to bother playing games at all now. We can just, we'll just sit here and talk. Just turn this into a podcast. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just do podcasting. Saying that, isn't this uh, valuable now on SoundCloud? Did you hook us it up? It is. Uh, very well, attention paid to. Uh, nice words as thanks. well, together put. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've, I've uploaded the first episode on SoundCloud. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. I think it's like SoundCloud dot com slash the beard guys with the hyphen beard hyphen guys um it's all going to be on there I, what i will do is what once i've later this week i'll try and hook that up to like itunes and also podbean someone mentioned which uh podbean yeah it's a podcast p- provider like itunes so. i like it yeah um but yeah so if, if anyone if there are any other like big podcasting services people use let me know i might chuck them on there as well see how much um how much energy is involved in that yeah. Ho- hopefully not a lot wouldn't want to waste any energy no you know energy uh you have to conserve it it's, i've it's... been conserving a lot of energy over the years <laughs> holy moly some might say preparing for winter for the last 30 years <laughs> i can't help it it's my uh, it's my natural senses i have to go and forage and eat foods so as much as i can as fast as i can so it's available uh to listen to as a podcast now if you know because if you if you're like me the itunes app the itunes that like the iphone youtube app is kind of shitty and if you want to like listen to a podcast on itunes then you still have to play the video and you'll rinse all your data and you know you can't lock it because it'll stop the video and it's pretty bullshit to soundcloud you just download well, soundcloud the- soundcloud you can download it or uh, and once it's on itunes obviously you can just download it like any other podcast or whatever and just listen to it like it's music you know rather than a video this week we're sponsored by soundcloud Sponsored by SoundCloud. It's mm. Not sponsored by... Coming in your ears, SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> um, not sponsored by Lotus uh, Biscuit Spreadable Spread. Oh, holy shit, have you eaten all of that yet? Uh, I've eaten about a third of it. Abby's been helping me get through that. Oh, it's really good. How's have the you... crunchy? It's crunchy. Uh, we haven't put it in hot chocolate yet, weighing up those options. But it's because it's got biscuit bits, it's going to be a lot of sediment at the bottom, which mm, I'm worried about. Yeah. On toast, like it Like dropping melts a digestive like, in there. Oh, my God, yeah. But, yeah, on toast, it's amazing. I'd recommend anyone... I've, I've tried it on toast. I, I've stopped just eating out... The, well, I haven't stopped <laughs> eating out the jar. I've just also started eating it on toast. Uh, this is the Lotus Biscuit Spread. Well, uh... Uh, that's gonna we talk about that in Battlebeards quite extensively <laughs> so I'll leave we'll leave that to uh, for you guys to listen to in that Battlebeards is gonna be coming um, I don't know in the next couple of days the first episode first part of Battlebeards 100 I think we're gonna split it into two mm. we did a big old session the other day where we we just yelled randomly on Discord at everyone to come <laughs> and play games with us uh, which really sort of um you know, spice things up. Oh, so that was, was fun. There were some actually real decent games in there as well. We had some decent nice. games. Certainly the first few as well were, were particularly decent. Um, there were a couple of shitters at the end, but but it's, they're all really good fun. It's to be expected. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah. So right, enough rambling. Yeah. Let's get let's cut to the chase. So cut to the chase. So um, yeah, so we thought one, that, you know, one of the hot topics at the moment or the hot topic, topic at the moment is... Uh, Foshgate, the the I don't know if it has a better name than that, but the, the you know uh, so, so so Fosh is a if you're not familiar with him it is a YouTuber, well more of a streamer than a YouTuber I guess, but a uh, a big content creator of World of Tanks content. He's a or he was a community contributor in mm. the EU Community Contributors Program, which is kind of thing that we're in with wargaming, where you know they I don't know they occasionally give you stuff to preview and invite you to tank fest and that kind of thing and in return they put you on facebook occasionally and 
Yeah, you know. Show us show vids that we do sometimes. Yeah, and we and we get to we're in like a community contributors Discord as well, so um we get to sort of chat to them through that and get a little bit of helpful yeah. info and stuff. Yeah, we give them feedback occasionally on yeah. things. Yeah, I, if if they do a crappy update, I go on there and moan a bit and oh you know, until I feel better and <laughs> they they probably just sit there quietly and then they you just know, mute you. Yeah, they just mute me and it, you know, everyone everyone's happy. Uh but yeah, so so Foshke, what happened basically I'll, I'll do a very quick summary of, of, of what happened, um, just, you know, the facts, and then we'll talk about maybe our p- perspective on it. Sorry if you already know all the details, but, you know, we keep keep everyone up to speed. Um, I'm also going to put a whole load of links in the description of all the stuff that I'm talking about and some other videos where they talk out about it at length, if you're interested. And, you know, Fosh's take on it, Sircon's take on it, all this stuff. But basically, Fosh made a video about a, a new premium tank on World of Tanks PC called the Chrysler Tier 8 Premium Tank. The, a lot of people on PC side, I don't really have an opinion on it because I don't play PC, um, that felt that this tank was, you know, very kind of OP. It's very heavily armored, hard to pair, and the gun's kind of crappy, so it requires you to fire prem ammo. They thought it was a bit of a push towards, you know, sort of pay-to-win um, kind of model. He made a video that I think is about two minutes long that was pretty much him just sitting there saying, fuck wargaming for like two minutes um and the, you know wargaming greedy i can't remember what else well it, yeah it's it pretty much just moaning you have, you have to fire gold at it as well so it's like printing money for war yeah it, yeah it's a bit of a money printer um but you know there's there's various opinions you could take on that um and not something that's you know i've really worried about too much because no. you know I'm a, I'm a console boy so <laughs> we can play games i'll yo. wait till i wait till they start you know fucking up our game and then moan about it <laughs> yeah uh but yeah, so he posted this video, and then he he. There, I put a link down to below to it. But he had a conversation with Felan from Wargaming EU. Uh, it's a guy we know fairly well. Where basically he got a message saying, "Right, you're removed from the community contributors program uh, yeah. for for overstepping the mark, or whatever." With this video, um, which you know it's probably fair enough. It's it, well, and we'll go into opinions later. We'll go into opinions later. Yeah, just the facts. Um, so he he got removed from the community contributors program. Then Felan asked him to remove that video from your from youtube uh fosh said no it's staying and then felan basically said oh, i should find the exact quote so felan felt it that it was more the way he expressed him- expressed himself more than what he said it was how he said it yeah they so yeah they they were you know they were concerned about a community contributor expressing something in a very unfriendly friendly manner yeah um, about it, well, that's what they've maybe said in the in the follow up anyway. But um, but F- Felan said um, well, after Fosh said I'm not going to take it down. Felan said it's up to you, but in that case we'll have to go through YouTube and take it down with a copyright strike. If we have to do this, you won't be able to monetize any wargaming content in the future. So I strongly suggest removing the video and avoid similar ones in the future. Yes. Th- which is a, which is a pretty strong threat, you know. That's, that's a very serious. it's a very direct threat. Uh, I, in my opinion, to to intimidate someone into so what complying. would that what would that mean having a copyright a copyright strike against your channel a word I, there's, so you can have like two or three if you hit whatever it is I think three maybe it might even be two then basically your channel gets deleted if you get one or two it can have repercussions where it stops you being able to or maybe it's two stops you being able to do videos longer than like 15 minutes you can't make thumbnail oh there's very God. heavy restrictions on your channel you can't monetize videos. You, um, so the, the comment for, when Felan said you know you won't be able to monetize any other wargaming content in the future that wasn't saying we're going to keep like you know chasing after every video you do it's saying you know if you get this copyright strike all your world of Tong- tank all your world of tanks content will get demonetized because of that one and I assume strike. this guy is someone who makes their living out of making videos and he things is like that. yeah uh, YouTube's you know YouTube's less so i guess for fosh he does he's got 50k subs or so but uh he's more of a streamer than a youtuber okay. so um but it but you know it is a but, it's a revenue stream for him and yeah. it's part of you know his his channel and his brand uh so it's a, you know it's a very serious thing if someone said that to me you know i'd be uh i'd be pretty pissed off uh so where do i get to in the story so yeah so <laughs> the story of fosh <laughs> of fosh and Felan. we will be releasing this in a paperback copy <laughs> maybe we'll do a little comic of it <laughs> um but yeah so you know Felan said that uh basically then fosh took the video down he released a second video that was moaning but you know less less sweary mm. uh and 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 that's kind of that but um so that's the kind of big deal uh, what else was worth worth saying from that fosh has made a reddit post where he says his opinion on it and links to that conversation that link is down in the description 
um, a pointy head Jedi also made a video about it that I thought was very good, pretty pretty balanced, and you know explains it all in in full detail, and also has lots of links to references. I recommend watching that. Link is in the description. Uh, but yeah, so after this had happened, you know the threat of a copyright strike was made. It all kind of kicked off with the community contributors. There was a lot of pretty heated discussion. Jingles mm -hmm. made a big Facebook post saying essentially that he was you know ready to up and quit his association with wargaming if. I think he stated, you know, if it turns out that a copyright strike was threatened and that Wargaming didn't make assurances, well, didn't then go and apologize for this and make assurances that it wouldn't happen, it wouldn't ever be, wouldn't ever happen, basically. Yeah. Um, and I think he went on to have some conversations with uh, with Florian from, from Wargaming. But Florian later came out, there was a fucking uber thread on the EU, on the, well, what is Hank's PC forums, uh, which I'm sure someone can post a link to. Uh, where eventually Florian came out and posted a statement saying, uh, uh, and he was basically said, you know, we assure you we're never going to make a copyright claim against a content creator for, you know, for, for saying mean things about us. We'll only ever do it if they, you know, breach an NDA or something like that. Okay. Um, and he later, and then everyone sort of posted the, the picture of Phelan saying they threatened him with that. <laughs> and then he came back and said, yeah, that wasn't you know, but we wouldn't we didn't actually do it. Um, so it was it was a bit weird. Um, should I read the whole quote? Do you think it's worth it? No, I think it's fine. I'll put the, all the links down below. You know, you can go and read the the full word for word. But um, I don't think that mi misrepresents it. They did, and in the second follow up post by Florian, you know, he said, "And I apologise to Sir Fosh. Censorship was in no way ever the goal. We will certainly learn from the situation and will continue to work on the way we communicate." Uh, so, you know, they came out, they've assured people they're not going to use copyright claims in this manner and have given an apology there to Safosh. I don't know if they've apologized to him personally. That's not really any of my business, you know. I'm not here to demand people apologize to other people I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that's that's kind of that. It all kicked off massively. You know, World of Tanks Reddit, the PC one, was absolutely chock full of it. There was a little bit on the console one. Uh, Jim Sterling tweeted about it and made a short video. He might have done a Jimquisition video already. If you're not familiar with him, he does a lot of videos about, you know, game company and YouTuber controversy and that sort of thing. So it's going to be real interesting to see if he uh, he does a video on that. Ironically, it's probably, well, World of Tanks is probably more popular now with this controversy than it has been for a while. Yeah, yeah. Certainly, yeah. well, no publicity is bad publicity, I suppose, in some ways. Yeah. Oh, All no? publicity is good publicity. <laughs> I've I mean, the the, com the inverse works as well. Shakira's making these rums pretty <laughs> strong. <laughs> she's really, she's really throwing out the rum. But um, so, so that's that's most of that, I think. Our stance, I feel, obviously, we're part of the community contributor. Yeah, um, EU community contributors program. So, as far as we're concerned, like we're we're kind of seeing this as a maybe like a. Like a first and second strike would you say yeah yeah i think we we've we've certainly see this as um it's, know, a, it's it... been a big it's, so it's it's unclear whether you know a feeling it maybe he we don't know whether he you know reacted in the heat of the moment and said you know a, a, a what he thought was maybe i don't know what turned out to be a very very serious threat but he didn't really you know think that through he said something in the heat of the moment yeah um and it's not, you know, don't know whether that's just, you know, a little silly mistake by him or, well, maybe not little, but a silly mistake by him or or whether he was told to say that by, you know, someone else from Wargame. And we will never know that, I imagine. No. Um, but yeah, I mean, as, as Lamu was saying, we're, we kind of see this as, you know, it's it's a it's a very shitty thing for Wargaming to do, I think. The, the threat of a copyright strike, whether they've come out afterwards and said, oh, we didn't, you know, we didn't mean it. We're never going to. Yeah, it's kind of irrelevant. You know, they very clearly made that threat, you know, and that's going to, you know, if you're a smaller, if you're a YouTuber, you know, I, we're in a privileged position because I feel we can probably like, you know, if you're, if, you're an up, if you're a smaller channel playing console, you're probably and you're like interested in being a community contributor or something, you're probably yeah. going to be less inclined to throw out videos moaning about wargaming. Yes. Yeah, Whereas true. we're in more of a privileged position where we can kind of get away with it a bit more because, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, we're, we're a, a fairly sizable channel in terms of console and we, we know that a lot of them quite well. We've, you know, we've built a relationship with wargaming staff over the years and, and, um, yeah, so we, we may have a bit more freedom with that. But I think like if you're a smaller channel, you know, you're going to see this and you're going to go, Okay, well, you know, they this is the sort of threat that might come out if I if I slag off wargaming in a in a video, you know. So, 
I think they'll be in people's minds. You know, the threat's been made. It's out there now. Yeah. It's uh so it's yeah it's a it's a cock up you know I think it's a, it's certainly it's been a big PR cock up. It's a pretty sizable cock up. Like, but like we said, you know we uh, I don't know. It's uh, I've got so many conversations going on in my head at the same time. It's it, yeah, just... it's tough. I know. I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt. I think I th- what did um you know I think as fe- um sorry I think pointy here Jedi said in his video you know I'd like to assume incompetence over malice. Yeah. Um, and I think that's fair. You know. And 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 I kind of hope the same, uh, but, but yeah, yeah, it's certainly it's a it's a it's a chitty thing. It's a yellow card on the mark for you know for us with our yeah. relationship with the community contributor program and wargaming, and it's something we'll be you yeah, know we'll be yeah. keeping an eye on. We're I think. All for free speech, but hopefully this thing kind of thing will never happen again. But yeah. if it does, yeah. you know we'll have to kind of weigh our options. But again, hopefully we will never have to kind of talk this kind of thing again. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I think that kind of sums it up quite nicely. I think it does. Um, yeah, so that's all. All the links to all that stuff. Shut up, Discord. All the links to all that stuff is down in the uh, in the video description. There's links to all those videos, people's statements on Reddit, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, there's a cockatoo. Cock, no, was it Kot, Kotaku? I can't even mm. know how to say it. Article, uh, which I should probably mention, which I only saw this morning, which. Uh, had a it's a very long article it's got a quote that says from wargaming there's no they don't mention any names on it and this is totally not verified so i have it could be complete bollocks so please take it with a pinch of salt but it was you know they said they'd contacted wargaming and they got this response um which basically says we're more than willing to give members of the community second chances but there's a level of toxicity and or offensive language that's unacceptable blah 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 this is relation to him being a community contributor not him just being a youtuber you know you can say what, mm. what the fuck you like on youtube um, but because he had, you know, an association with wargaming. Uh, but they, they end the quote with um, Sir Fosh's latest claim that we're somehow prohibiting him from making future videos involving our games is completely false. He's more than welcome to make more wargaming related videos. If those videos continue to include hate speech and homophobic slurs, Oof. we'll take the necessary and appropriate action. Which, you know, I'd so like I said, take that with a pinch of salt. Kotaku don't have the best reputation, so it could be bollocks. Um, but, you know, if, if Wargaming verify that, then that's a pretty slanderous thing to say. I can't say I've watched um, Many? a huge amount of Fosh's videos, no. so, you know, I can't verify, me, you know. We don't know maybe they're all racist and homophobic. Yeah. You know, Shakira, have you seen many? Apparently not. Hook <laughs> um, me up, bro. <laughs> I'll check them out. But, yeah, that's a pretty serious thing. So, I, I you know... So we'll, for them to allegedly say but you know who who knows that's we'll wait and see a response on that it's certainly a pretty strong thing to say um and not really you know i thought their pr department would be very much in the you know quench this fire sort of Jesus. mode not put on the fucking boxing gloves and come out throwing punches so they get trump in their office you know. tweeting away <laughs> yeah fuck yeah so you know hopefully that turns out to be false we'll um we'll wait and well wait yeah and, we wish them all the see. best yeah but yeah you know so you know all you know i'm I think you know. I think Fosh was treated. You know, I think it was. I think it was fair for him to be removed from the community contributor program. He said himself he didn't feel he didn't really know why he was in it in the first place. That's true. You know, just because his you know his vein of content is like very very you know it's very sweary and stuff. It's not family friendly at all. I can see why a big brand you know wouldn't want to have that person like on their website and stuff. Yeah, which is totally fair. You know, yeah, we. Yeah. There's a lot of our videos that they won't share because we swear our tits <laughs> off like these <laughs> and all of Battlebeards. You know. So I try the, and, you know... The early Minecraft stuff, not that they're going to share Minecraft, yeah. but that's a good example if you want to see a sweary beard guys video, yeah, holy moly. Old school Minecraft. But yeah, you know, and I totally, I, you know, I understand why they don't want to share the content that we make that's very, very not family friendly. So, um, so yeah, you know, that was fair. But the, yeah, the copyright strike, you know, way, way out of line. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool, man. But, right. you know, hopefully now it's all cool. I don't know how Fosh feels about things now, you know... You, ask him i don't know if he's coming to tank fest still i was about to ask i think he was gonna come um I'm there was sure a brief I... thing about circon being very briefly removed from the community contributors program coming back but oh, probably another, won't go into that now because we've been talking about this for so long but um it was a much more minor thing compared to all this all this garbage um, i'm sure we're just preaching to the choir yeah yeah probably probably everyone knows it'll the, be fine the best people you all know to... don't you you're all keyed up you all know so um yeah, that's that. I think he'll... I mean, Cirque was still coming, planning on coming to Tank Fest. Actually, after he, he very briefly got his community contributor status revoked and then given back, um, I, w- I was going to give him uh, your your spare ticket that we'd bought. But, um, but he doesn't need it now because he's coming anyway. So, 
but yeah, it'd be interesting if Fosh is there. I've, he was one of the guys who wasn't there last year, so we didn't uh, we didn't meet him. So he's not a guy that I spoke to. So that'd be cool to um, forget a chance to chat to him this time round. I think we met most of the others last year, right? Most so of the big, big I was, dudes. I was looking for. Um, obviously, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed. To, I'm not able to uh, make it this year. To tank <laughs> not <list>. allowed. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go. Um, but. Uh, I was looking at cardboard cutouts, how much they're going to cost if I can try and get <laughs> one made up. They are super expensive. I bet. Holy shit. But what I say super expensive, yeah, like over £100 for a giant, but this was quite a decent cardboard cutout. Yeah. I ain't messing about. You want a premium <laughs> lamb on your shoulder. And also you'd have to lug it around, but I'd like to see it at the interview, me just kind of perch there. Maybe just kind of get me cut in half so you can kind of sit me down. What about just a mask? You know, a mask and then Dave or Andy can wear it. Or, or anyone, really. A ch- small child. <laughs> we get Jingles to wear it and have <laughs> people great. take pictures with him. <laughs> but it's my face. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that, actually. So, yeah, look out for my face at Tank Fest. Look out for Lamb's face. Uh, um, maybe tweet a picture of my face in a few months' time, if you ever remember. Mm. I was thinking of um, buying a few extras of the... So we've got a t-shirt on sale still. That's on sale till 5th of June. A uh, little Tank Fest one. Ooh. And also says Beard Maker the Man. So that's the name of this series. Way! Uh, so, you know, they're, they're, the link's down in the description if you want to get one of those. They're on sale. But I might try and buy a few extra ones of those and then just have a couple each day to give out on Tank Fest. Maybe yeah. I'll like... I was thinking I might just come up with some silly thing and tweet it and be like, right, first two people each day to come up to me and say like... I've got a tiny dick or something. Uh, <laughs> can have a free T-shirt, so which is the uh, just think the slogan something... for this podcast? Yeah, you can which call is it. yeah, we can't we can't nick that one. That's the Triforce, <laughs> the Triforce secret <laughs> phrase. We we'll have to come up with one. We'll come up with one we'll with one up. next. Maybe you guys can help us come up with a secret password, a secret phrase, so you can walk up to people in the street and you know and be like, "I've got a tiny dick," you know, or I've, "My balls are erect." Oh. I've, is that uh, what that guy said in that comment? I don't know. Did he say that? Someone say that in a comment. Someone, yeah, let me find out. I've got what? it right here. Uh, someone said on the ISU 9K damage one, he said, my ball sack is erect. That Username, is... Username, sir, dude. <laughs> it's a pretty good comment, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to have me thinking for a few days now. How? How? What? How? How? Why? Yeah. Was... But yeah, I'll, I think, like, didn't we good last... Comment. Last... Um, Episode we asked people for questions. Did we, we did. That's point. Did you actually manage to gather any? Yeah, I've got a few actually. Let me pull them up. I'll pull up the video from last time because that'll have some in the comments. So I, I tell you what happened is Ben, I think, texted me or messaged me on Discord and said that he had a question he was going to propose for this episode. And I thought, oh, okay, so we're going to be making questions up, are we? Uh, okay, I'll get to thinking. And because I've been off work for quite a while, I've been a little bit ill. I, I often have a lot of spare time by myself, which uh, tends to come up with some pretty weird questions, not tank related in the slightest. I'll have to, or maybe I'll uh, read a few off, but I don't think they're going to be in the same same grade yours are. I'm, hey, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm totally up for just talking about whatever. I think what I asked was like, um, how to make border tanks better. It, it was what, it, yeah, not like. But but for kind of for you personally, so it'd just be like you know if there were a, a you know a few things that things that could happen in World of Tanks console that you'd really be pleased with, and um well, what to see in, to see happen to see happen as you know like changes to the game, new things added in, things removed, things change, whatever you know, because everyone um, has like their th- you know a lot of people on the forums is always very vocal about. Well, for me personally, with a game with games in general. I tend to get bored of them quite quickly, so it needs to kind of that stay factor, which I feel with World of Tanks, generally you grind up uh, to a tier 10, and then that's it. Then you start your new line. What I'd like to see, I'm not sure if this got mentioned on Discord where it'd be a good idea, but like maybe some kind of prestige mode where you might be able to maybe get a camo or an insignia or something, which means that you've prestige two or three. For, for doing something in your tier 10. For doing either doing something in your tier 10 or doing that line a certain amount of time. So mm. if you prestige, you have to do the line again. And then you get a special camo, like a you get a bronze, silver, and gold or something. Mm. So it makes it kind of, makes a bit more pick up. You kind of want to re-grind those tanks or maybe you could do something in your tier 10 and you prestige it and then certain things aren't as good 
or if you grind a certain amount of points, you'll get something special. So if you grind out I like five hundred thousand like, like XP, you can get a special camo. Yeah, that's something I I think maybe in relation to XP on tanks. I'm sure I'd seen that mentioned maybe on a forum post at some stage over the years. You know, because that'd be really cool if you if you got like yeah five hundred thousand or a million XP mm. on your on whatever tank then you then got a you know a special gun mark or you got you know a black camo or whatever something crazy and people are talking you know i've heard people talk about in similar ways of you know if you get up to 100 percent damage standing and so a third third moe mm. is for 95 percent, but you can get up to 100 percent. multiple people can have 100 percent. by the way it's not just like one dude can ever have it um cause i got i got it on my my vk 36h on playstation i know quite a few people have done it on Sweet. various tanks but that'd be cool if you know you got your third mark and you'd 100 percent of it and then you got like i the don't know fourth a fourth mark or like i don't know something cool you know skull. some other some like logo you can stick on your tank or, or whatever i agree though that because i i get to tier 10 i then i should never play them because i'm like well, just, what's, what's the point why why bother or but i feel there's something that uh wargame might be able to exploit not necessarily if you could earn it it'd be awesome but being able to get s certain crew members, so like famous people in war history, like I don't know, name someone, Sh Mis Mr. Sherman, Rommel, Rommel, Rommels, <laughs> <laughs> like a famous tank commander in tank history, and yeah. you're able to get that as a crew commander. That'd be you're cool. able to earn that in a certain way, and he has like you. He'll give you a. He, it comes with a special stat. Or it give you like ten percent more camo or something, yep. but hopefully they wouldn't make that something into oh you can buy but you cards. Can just buy it, yeah. You and there's a chance you might get the extra special edition, but then that makes it kind of pay to win. So if it's something you could earn or an op or something, where it's it's, it's an equal cool. ground, that'd I, be sweet. Like, I think people would dig that because there's so many you know there's, it's a kind of strange it's a different community for what it tanks than for a lot of games because you have people you know normal gamers but then you also have people who are maybe playing it because they're very interested in you know military history and and that and tanks and that kind of thing you get Patton, lot, Patton was his name Patton he's, he's a <sighs> chap uh you and you get you know there's lots of service men and women that play it and ex-service men and women that play it so um yeah you know I think that's that sort of thing really appeals to people and um historical related you know historical battles are something that's always you know people have always wanted to see but it's a difficult thing to implement i remember i think carbide said it once i think they you know it's i think they've got tried maybe at one stage on pc but well, you know everyone always wants to, if you know you do a historical battle everyone always wants to play the tiger and so it doesn't really work very well with matchmaking but yeah it, it's, that feels like maybe something they could do in their ai modes you know if you did an ai mode where it's Ooh. like hey look here's a cool battle with like you know 15 tiger tanks no, versus KB1 you know whatever and yeah and you know you play against AI that could be really fun um your thoughts my thoughts um well, I can't, there's probably stuff I was thinking about that I've totally forgotten I really want to see a replay system I know it's something they've been actively working on for quite a while now I want to see that mother trucking happen uh that was one for the kids there <laughs> so yeah a replay system for, they asked us for opinions on it quite a while ago of features we'd like to see and stuff but i think the idea is it's maybe going to be this isn't confirmed but i think the idea was it'd be something where you can save a replay file of any game you play and then within world of tanks the game you'll be able to kind of access a portal where you can watch other people's replays through the game and then if you have a capture card or if you you know play playstation and you mm. can just record screen record then you can kind of download those you can watch back those replays and save them as you watch them and download them so what that means is that rather than only people and the moment, i mean we get a lot of good replays sent in from playstation because you can basically just save your games but um if you open that up to anyone being able to save the replays then there'd be a lot more cool replays coming our way yeah, which you know it's sweet. great for us you know it's, it's good fun it's great to see that stuff it's really fun to share these these games with people and you know people are having people have like 14k 15k damage damage games every fucking day but you know, we, they never get seen because there's no way for them to share them. Would that be something that would have they'd have to go via Microsoft and they'd have to kind of go that way about it? Or was that something they might be able to do within the game? No, I don't think so. I think it'd just be it'd be within the game. Um, and also, the idea with that would be mo hopefully something like PC, where you, when you watch a replay, you can watch it with a free cam. Oh, so I remember sweet. you used to be able to do it in like Battlefield Two, which you know, fucking twelve years ago, I used to play this game, and that had a battle recorder. This was on PC. Where it because it doesn't it doesn't save like a video replay of the round it just saves all of the actions and data 
within the round and then you can fly around with the free cam and watch it you know half speed reverse from anyone's perspective so you know that'd be pretty cool as a youtuber you know i know i'm sure when you're watching replays you do try to uh, move the camera or something while you're watching a replay. Yeah. I know I do every time yeah, I see a replay. I'm like, I just, oh no, I forget. I'm not actually playing I this forget game. that I'm watching a video. Something I did say that they might be, I'm pretty sure they're bringing out on PC, is like the 30 versus 30 thing. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure QB put up a few videos about it. So yeah. It's not an NDA or anything like that. But yeah, yeah, there's been videos about that. I'm not sure if the Xbox would be able to cope with that kind of size maps and amount of people or anything like that. In terms of hardware, yeah. yeah, I don't know really. I'm sure. It, well, it'd end up just being a lot of open fields and things like that because you won't be able to put in as many buildings or trees or anything like that because they've only got so much space they can work with. Or... Well, I don't know how. I mean, Xbox One might be right, but it'd be interesting. You know, Xbox 360 support. That's Shit. that's going to become more of an issue. Um, I'd like you know, I'd like to see them give it a go though. I feel because 15 you know, versus 15 does get a bit boring sometimes. Like yeah, 30 it does. versus 30, that'd be amazing. Or use being able to use multiple tanks. Yeah. So you get killed in one tank, you earn enough got... points. I suppose like War Thunder. And then you're just like, oh, I'll take my second tank out. Yeah. Like yeah, like, I just, I, yeah, I, what I want to see really, I mean, other than, you know, the replay thing is kind of really quite a selfish thing. But uh, <laughs> but um, what I want to see is, you know, innovation around game modes and well, innovation around anything in the game. But, you know, innovation around game modes in particular. And, and it's hard to suggest stuff because, you know, that's, you know, the they're the big company that should be putting money and very very smart people into thinking about solutions for these problems you know mm. i go to work and i tackle solutions for those problems i don't tackle solutions for for fucking world of tanks you know it's not i don't they know you know they've got the knowledge of you know they know the data of how many players they've got when they're active what things they're active on you know what what things they they engage with or things they don't you know all yeah. these kind of things we don't have access to that that gives them you know lets them make better informed decisions and i want to see them do you feel like innovating and, and coming up with creative ideas to see if it, it sticks, you know, throw stuff at the wall and see if it sticks and and not just, you know, keep putting out tanks and, and, and game modes, uh, where, and, sorry, and maps. and um, what, what, That you feel but, like might be easy fixes for like new content. It's like, oh, we'll put another no, I don't Blizzard mean, thing or do you think it's more... I Just stuff, it needs new, because it, it just new stuff to keep the game interesting, you know, for existing players. It's, cause there's only so long people are going to keep playing... You know, it's only so, you know, games, you know, people aren't going to play forever anyway. That's fine. You know, it's a game, you know, you're only going to play it for so long unless you're really, really into it. But, you know, I just want to see new, new innovative stuff. There's been no real new big game mode things ever. You know, they've done the kind of ranked battle thing, but that's not really a new game mode. It's just a side thing. There's never been a anything on con. They do the like the little one offs like mm. Moon and Mars and stuff. But that's very, you know, short term fun. I want to see like, you know. Trying out like like that thirty versus thirty or like whatever you know, it's just them to come up with some cool like wow, this is like, like a big different cool thing to take try and water tanks. Yeah, take a risk, you know. And if it turns out it doesn't work out, then you know what, pull it. You know, I mean, it's better than spending time doing the fucking like the Instagram filter mode they put time into developing <sighs> that was out for a day and then Jesus. got pulled. You know, they put time and effort into doing something like that. Put some time and effort into you know. I think coming up with a cool innovative new thing i think know? they're a big enough country to be able to make that kind of risk as well it's not as if they're a struggling company and they need to make sure they yeah. retain a certain amount of interest exactly or they make a certain amount of money because they're certainly pumping out premium tanks like there's no tomorrow mm. earning that's that cash 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 yeah yeah so um, i feel like it unique and also because you know over the last few years it's been out there's been a big thing like every year but not anymore so that in what i mean by that is you know, first of all, it came out on 360. Then, I guess, like a year, 18 months later, it came out on Xbox One. So it suddenly got this big new boost. It's like, mm. oh, a big new exciting thing. It's on a new platform. Then, you know, a year later or whatever, it came out on PlayStation 4. So it's like, oh, no, right, big new thing. You know, give the game some momentum again. But now it's out on those three platforms. It's not really, in my opinion, been a big new thing since it came out on PlayStation 4 to give it the momentum that that gave it. Yeah, so, and good. I don't know if releasing on scorpio or whatever like the, the wii next, the wii you know is going to uh is going to be the same so oh, i don't yeah. know Maybe on oculus yeah so it'd be interesting you know that so that's what i want to see I, you know i want to see a replay system and i want to see <laughs> innovation you know in game modes in yeah. particular and also i really like that stuff the that you mentioned with you know a thing rewards for like you know Doing hitting certain to, milestones yeah. on tanks that you would replay when there's no other reason to grind them you know i've got no reason to grind silver on xbox i've got no reason to grind you know i only play them for 
you know, if I want to play a tank for fun, and you know, I, it's nice to have goals. When I have goals, I'll play stuff that I don't think's fun because I like hitting goals. <laughs> so you know, that's fine. You it's know, all about that premium, that limited all, skin. All about that grind. You know, I'd sit there and grind out a million XP on my MX Chaffee if it got me like a sweet black skin. I'd sit here and do it in a month, man. I'd be fucking right on that. That'd be sweet. Yeah, if you could see, if there was like a box of like nine camos, and you could see the skin. It's like mm. I want that skin, but I've got to grind out another thousand battles. That'd be a thing if you. But then, if you say battles, then people are just gonna go AFK in battles, and it's gonna be bullshit. Yeah, yeah, they'd have to think, you know, think think about how they're gonna do that. Um, anyway, so let's move on. We've 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 talked about that for a while. <laughs> I was gonna ch- check some of the questions that people um, s- sent in. They didn't really. Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at the comments of last week's video. Someone just said, "Whereabouts do you live?" Oh, S- uh, well, you know, England, England. Um, Kent. What did you call me? You Kent. <laughs> you Kentish man. Or that's man a, of Kent. That's as specific, specific as I'll be. Um, what else? Oh, I t- some some people tweeted me some. Sorry if I missed any. but uh, So yeah, if you have any questions for us to answer next time, leave them in the comments on the video. I forgot to ask that last time, so I did it as a comment on the video myself. Oh. And not really many people. Um, Twigs. Tweeted. Uh, so, I mean, someone just re- I asked a question. Someone just replied saying spreadable biscuits. We've already covered that. <laughs> um... Uh, uh, Hatswell says, um, uh, <laughs> has Lamb finished the French arty grind? Yes, you did, didn't you? We've done videos on the tier 10, right? A while ago, uh, it's not worth it, not worth it. It's not, don't do it, don't do it. That's it's Lamb's all right, no, no, it's good. I, I just resent it a bit because it took me so long to do. Um, it, it, yeah, it put me through my paces. I'm trying to do the American one at the moment. Uh, I'm still enjoying the British. Was it HMH, whatever it was called? The, the Super Bert. Bert. Uh, Al Akbert. Oh. That's what. That's what Jack. I don't know if Jack came up with that, but maybe I think Sins maybe came up with that, and then. But yeah, Jack I play that occasionally it, if I do want to play an RT. That's, that's good nickname. That's, that's one I like to play. But yeah, I did. I did get it done. Um, I would rant about it, but I've, I'm sure I've ranted in dozens of videos before this if you do want any more details just just ask in the comments and i'll fill you in i'll fill you i'll in. get you my son i'll fill you right in not you shakira um shakira. ryan uh trotter said if you had to use one light tank non-premium uh which would you use and recommend to others oh this to me well it's t71 it's, yeah i was thinking uh, there's a really easy <laughs> answer for that because one my like second favorite well possibly my favorite light tank in the game is the oh. lycan which is just a t71 really but something i've kind of but maybe um, the, i'd probably say the walker bulldog yeah. out once because i haven't really used the t71 that's not the lycan version i might not enjoy it as much if it wasn't making me like shit loads of silver and better crew xp maybe hand over and fist was, and silver and was black and oh, sweet like that it's, it's, it does look pretty sweet but I kind of accidentally, I'm starting to grind out every single light tank in the game. Mm. Uh, I'm on the tier 8 Chinese, which is quite fun at the moment. Yeah. But I've kind of spoiled myself with the Lycan, not the Lycan, with the T71 and the Walker Bulldog. Very good tanks. And it's hard to get on, because you have it's a different play style. It's a, it's a real run and gun kind of craziness with the, uh, with the autoloaders. Yeah. But the Chinese... You haven't got any... You can't look down in the tank. I can't remember. Gun, gun elevation. Depression. Gun depression. There's depression. none of that. And it's only a... It's a one-shotter. It's a one-shotter. You can't bounce nothing. Yeah. So it's it's a different play style. But for sure, the T, T71 for yeah, a Yeah, T71, answer. definitely worth checking out. You know, and the, and the Walker Bulldog. I think both very good non-premium light tanks. Um, Someone asked about... Uh, the Huntsman Centurion. I haven't really looked at that too much yet, so I can't really voice an opinion on that. It's a new premium that's coming out. Yep, another new premium tank. Are we going to have access to that? Do you know? I think they they offered it as a yeah. That might be coming in as a low knee, although they it's kind of on the fence because they wanted to you know wait and just deal with all the fucking you know fosh gate <laughs> and check how everyone's you know feelings were about you know community contributors and stuff. So I don't know we'll we'll either way we'll probably put out a video on it. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but, and and also the speed buff to the the sent one and the centurion seven one um they so there was a there was a couple of maps that dropped out of the blue in the week everyone woke up in the morning and suddenly there was a new map in rotation i can't remember what it was called um uh yeah, no i can't think of yeah, it uh, shakira Shit. and uh there, and there was and then there's uh airfield some with some weather i can't but, remember what type but, of weather i've had it airfield buck kiss airfield buck kiss 
Uh, it's raining butts. <laughs> raining butts! Which reduces view range. So those two maps dropped, you know, they didn't make any announcement about them dropping. Um, and then the next and then the, the next day they, were, they announced, they were like, oh, by the way, also uh, the Scent 1 and Scent 7 1 got their speed buffed. And I think one of them got the rate of fire buffed as well on one of its guns. Um, Sweet. So I won't comment too much on that apart from saying we'll call that update three point whoops. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, but well, I, don't, I haven't used either of those two tanks yet. I'm on. I've basically just unlocked the Scent One on PS4. I've finished the Comet Grind. Very. I've got like 5k, so it's basically done. Wow, um, that's lucky for you then. So yeah, it just got buffed. I was just about to unlock it. Maybe they did that, you know, just for me. <sighs> just for me. Well, yeah, they listen to you. They is listen. that just? Is that exclusively on Xbox? Or is that on PlayStation as well? I had, it's it's going to be on both. It'll be on both. Thank I you. mean, like, did the update accidentally drop just oh, on yeah, one it's, console? It's on. It's on both. Yeah, it's oh, okay. on both. As far as I know. Um, yeah. Sweet. Maybe I'll um, get on that. Yeah, so that's that. Well, so, right, okay, so we've done a few of those questions. So send us your questions in. They're fun to talk about. Um, there's a couple of other things I wanted to talk about quickly. There was so a couple of little shout-outs of interesting things I saw. There was um, Klaus Kellerman. A lot of people have been telling me to watch Klaus Kellerman for ages. I never got around to it. I know, you know, Badger, one of our mods, is a big fan. I know uh, Mad Friday's a big fan. I finally got around to watching video because I think Mad tweeted it. Someone tweeted it. It was it's Klaus Kellerman, this guy doing like a he starts off the video doing a cute a quickie baby impression. Stinky lady. Stinky lady. <laughs> and it is fucking really funny. Oh. Uh, I'll put a link to it down below. It's so good. It's really funny, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's harmless, but it's just really it's not like, you know, horrible, brutal, but it's well, you know, it but it's it's just really funny. I it I laughed a lot. It's uh, go and subscribe to him. Like he hasn't got as many subscribers as he should do. He's got fourteen thousand or something. He, like he's that. growing quick. He'll have more than us in no time because that dude is funny as fuck. Prick. He's he is funny <laughs> as fuck. So he's he, had. A, I watched a video of his for some reason where he shaved all his beard off. I got a bit upset. Wow. Yeah. It was. Uh, I just was like, I wonder what this guy looks like. He's like we're shaving my beard. Wow. I'm not sure where he's from. <laughs> Canada or something. I don't know. Could you not tell by my sweet accent? <laughs> Sounded Canadian. But yeah, and he does like this whole other series where he uses a puppet and things like that. Oh wow! Yeah, I haven't delved, seen that. I've yeah, delved deep. I only, yeah, I only really watched that that one video. But yeah, I thought that video was very funny. I'll put a link down below. Check it out. I also watched uh, randomly. I can't remember how I came across it. Maybe off the forum or something. But there was a a Mutant Six Weak Spot guide for console that um, guy named Bull Bullvi or Bull. Um, had had done his like pretty pretty small um, newish uh, console water tanks channel. I recommend going. I thought it was a really good weak spot guide, so I recommend checking that. Out. I don't know how many others he's done, but uh, you know, Mutant Six on sale, so I'll put a link to that down below. Go and check it out. Give I like the, the Mutant give Six. Give the guy a sub. You know, I thought it was a pretty well put together video. Very bouncy tank. It is a very bouncy tank. What else? Tell I recommend me, watching the important videos playlist. I also apologise <laughs> for telling you about that. Check it out. I yep. think we should do when we start streaming again. There's a, probably a few things we could probably use as like if we ever get a subscriber kind of status. We might be able to use that some of those videos as subscriber things or some donation little things. memes. Yeah, oh my God. yeah. I feel we need to short. You know, as much as I love Epic Sax Guy, it's quite long and intrusive. So <laughs> like my dick. <laughs> oh, but it's like a pepper army, Ben. It's like thin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what the ladies love these <laughs> days. It's very fashionable. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, guy G gamer tag peppermint Shaw uh, tweeted a screenshot of a 15k blocked damage game in the KV4 that he had. Uh, oh. He also posted he had a YouTube a link to the replay as a YouTube video, which I'll also put down below. So go and, if you want to see that, go and check out. That's I'm probably going to ask the guy if I can just nick it and do a commentary on it sometime as well. So feel free to hold off if you'd rather just see that as a commentary. But do go and <laughs> check out the guy's sweet, sweet voice over it. Yeah, you know. But, you know, you will have both options available. You Maybe watch. you could do your own commentary and send it in. Or not. Sure. Ben's face was like... S send them to Lamb. <laughs> Don't say that. Send them to Lamb. Yeah, give out my email address. Oh, yeah, how many points have you earned? Uh, I've, so on PlayStation, I've, I can't remember exactly, but I've got about 250, I think. I which... have 201. Nice, nice. So... Uh... But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty. I haven't played loads. I know it's pretty low compared to a lot of people, but I'm I'm aiming to get the crew XP boost. So I think that's basically two of the 
the times four, whatever, Operation Delta, I think it is. Is that the one? Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yep. 125 is Operation Delta. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping, to, if I can get that like four times and get 20 of those, and I get that, you know, that's kind of cool. I'd be pretty happy with that. Tell you what I might do on the stream is I might just use all my XP boosts. I've got so many sitting about. I might just, every game I'll put a new boost on. So tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to buy the drop Delta. Oh, De you're going to spend your points already. Yeah, well, I don't know. Wow. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Uh, how do you... I'll figure out how to finalize you, that. You work that out later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I don't know how many battles I've done. What's been going? May, right? It's all been going May, so I've done... May. I don't know. I've only done about 65, 70 games this month, I guess. So, you know, that's 84 games this month, over the last month. I don't know if that's calendar month or 30 days, but... I've been playing Witcher. 250 for that. I'm pretty pretty pleased with. Oh, Witcher, how's that been? Love it. Nice. If you like Skyrim, you'll love it. I, well, I played a, I bought it on PC ages ago and played a little bit of it. Um, I'd thoroughly recommend I it. I didn't really get into it. it was, a, the, co the combat I found a bit complicated. I was trying to just wail on stuff with a sword, and it was like, <laughs> no, you've got to use all these like weird magical shouts. And I was like, oh, I just want to hit the stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't give it much time. Though. Yeah, I think maybe you need to get. I, I hardly use it. There's like one you need to use, which is, oh, put up a shield, and it's like, all right, and then that's it. That's okay. it. You don't need to burn anything or anything like that. But yeah, I'd, I'd thoroughly, thoroughly recommend Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt, I think mm. it's called. Yeah, it's been out for a while, actually. Um, it's a couple, yeah, about two or three years, I think. Yeah, I think I got it when I got this new computer with my... Well, a bit after that with its sexy-ass graphics card and I was going to try out. Were we going to try and play Pugba? I know we was talking about it maybe yeah. last week. Yeah, definitely. We definitely want to give... I really want to give... Pub Pubga a go. Pubga, is that something you guys would like to see? Like, let us know. Yeah, because we like obviously we'd kind of play it if you want to watch it. I think we'll definitely give it a crack. I um, know this PC that I'm sitting next to is it still broken or what's going? No, on No, that's all pimped up and good to go. So we can get Pub Sweet. Pubga all set up up here. We can both sit here and play it. Uh, Chewy's got it as well, so he can play with us. I know <laughs> old Nipple Dick. Old Nipple Dick. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god I guess he hasn't watched that because he hasn't messaged me about it <laughs> um, I know a few of the guys off Discord Badger and Cranky uh, I think Nerd Fury maybe some of those guys have been playing it so there's a, we got a few mates you know trusted yeah. beard associates playing playing Pubga Pubga which I find really difficult to say well if you like watching me fail on Rainbow Six then holy moly wait to wait to check out that shit the bed i don't play pc games i don't think i've ever played a pc game a shooter pc game i've only ever played minecraft that's so, it yeah similar i wonder if i can just hook up my controller actually to the pc maybe maybe we'll figure it out we'll figure it out it's something i really want to sort out soon because it looks yeah it looks super fun we'll throw that in in um yeah, yeah, inst instead of rainbow in a in a hopefully within win a few weeks you know we'll give it a yeah throw in the mix so it goes maybe we'll try streaming it or something Ooh. Uh, yeah, so uh, so that brings us kind of nicely on to, to. I wanted to just briefly mention about like the content schedule and and stuff like that. So we've been, you know, I now have my Mondays off my normal day job to to pretend I'm a YouTuber and so the YouTube <laughs> videos, uh, which has been really good. But um, I was kind of fit. So first, I've had like two so far. The first couple, I um I basically did videos for every day. So we had seven no like, daily videos. Um, which has been good. It's, I few, had some good comments on that. And people have noticed. Um, it's been a kind of crappy couple of months for subs, but I think that's just you know the natural ebb and flow of of YouTube and and gaming content on YouTube. But um, but I've had some nice comments from people about, and so it's been nice to bring back the you know clip of the week. Uh, we're hoping to keep up our regular schedule of you know Lamb and I joint content and that kind of stuff. But I feel like uh, rather than doing seven videos a week, I feel like you know it would be. I think. People would probably enjoy it more if we rein that back to maybe five a week and that would let me finish up earlier on the Monday and then maybe give, you know, a couple of hours when we can stream or something like that. It's not, we're not going to commit to like a regular schedule of like, you know, we stream at this time on this day every week because that ends up being kind of stressful, you know, if you're having a shitty day and you don't want to stream, you know, and I'm a grumpy fucker, so, you know, that could, that could happen quite regularly, <laughs> but um but yeah, that we're hoping to to start doing that soon. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we might start doing a little bit of maybe late afternoon Monday streaming for a few hours. You know, probably some tanks, but who know whatever you know. Where we'll we kind of feel do some streaming, you know, for that fun. You know, like it's just really engaging and nice to sit there and chat with people and play games. So. Well, yeah, if if you like listening to if you've listened this far, 
then you're probably going to enjoy our stream. <laughs> then you'll listen to fucking anything. So. I don't know how long we've been going for. Uh, nearly 50 minutes. So Holy shit. Longer than before. We'll make sure we pop it in under an hour, I guess. But, you know, some podcasts are really fucking long. Yeah. I suppose, yeah, this is this is getting into podcast territory. Wait, this is a, this is a fucking podcast, mate. Oh, you know, man. This is a podcast. A podcast? A now po- I'm a podcat. <laughs> Have you played Doom yet? No, I haven't. I haven't really had time. But I do want to play it. I've got Doom. It's just called Doom. <laughs> I guess it's not the first one though. Yeah, it it it's, got, a, it's got some sweet badges in it. No, is it? What is it? Is it a remake of the first one, or is it just a new? It's just new Doom. Doom. It's like they just made a new Doom game. Okay, but it's, it's just called Doom. It's, it's not called, called like Doom. Doom Seven or something. No, no, no. Doom. It's good. Like, give it a go. Maybe you could do it on stream when I'm not here. I'll it's, check it out later. It's sweet. It's pretty sweet. Maybe like a, a, a late night thing. I'm not sure we'll be able to do it. During the day with all the kiddly winks watching. Maybe we could do it while they're at school. Yeah. You yeah? Know, it'd, be, it'd be fine. Have you got any more things on your bullet points? That is that is everything from my list. We have, we've covered literally, literally everything. Um, literally everything? Literally everything. Ooh. So, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to ask you some of my weird questions. Okay, you throw me some weird questions. Right, you've got to bear in mind, half of these questions are me sit, like, awake at night at like five o'clock in the morning, not able to sleep. I'm just, you know, when you kind of sometimes you sit in there, you lay your head down. It's like it's time to sleep, but then the old mental carousel starts, and you're like, can't stop thinking about dumb shit. Yeah, and that's where this has been spawned from. Uh, okay, who picks up? <laughs> who pick? Is who that pick, the question? <laughs> who picks up guide dog poops? Who picks up guide dog poops? I like- saw two pugs attack a guide dog. Oh, fuck. And this blind man didn't know what to do. <laughs> I thought was, I was there anyone with the pugs? Yeah, there was a woman, but she was a bit incompetent because uh, she was just like, uh, "Sorry, I think she was expecting because obviously the guide dog was a lot bigger, so she felt that he was probably in the wrong for some reason." Uh, and I was like, "Do I intervene? What do I, I do? I have to cross the street so this poor man is walking out in the road? What's going on?" That's what got me thinking about dog poops. Fucking hell. So, Ben, uh, uh, riddle me this. Who picks up a guide dog's poops? Mm, I guess you probably get, like, a... You know, I think you have a license to just leave leave shit wherever you want if you're blind, you know? Yeah. It's Pop a- up some glasses. Put put some glasses on and take your dog for a walk and you can you leave know. poops about town. There's a life hack right there. Yeah, you know, don't, I don't think... Don't worry about it. You know, if you're blind, you know, don't, don't, don't let any, it become an issue for you. Yeah. Is that your mes- message for... Uh, our blind listeners. You got any messages for our deaf listeners? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No, they might be watching on. Uh, they might have captions turned on. Yeah, my- I love. I love you, really, guys. <laughs> I love you, guy. <laughs> I love you, guy. Most of my questions are in that. So imagine if we had domesticated bats instead of cats. This is the kind of pedigree of question. <laughs> like, how useful would a bat be instead of a cat? I don't know if it'd be useful. Like, it'd be how, cool. How long? How? F- what are you gonna use it for? What's the? What's the? the- imagine fetch with a bat. And how long cats have been domesticated for, and how they've kind of, especially with dogs, maybe how they've changed. You'd be able to get giant bats, tiny little bats, and they wouldn't be all scraggly. They'd be mm. nice and furry, like a yeah. nice plush bat. Premium. Premium bat. Premium nice bat. face. Nice face. Pedigree bat. A pedigree that's, that's bat. What I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> Premium bat. Sure. I fed a uh, hand fed a giraffe yesterday. A baby giraffe. Is that euphemism for something? <laughs> no, but it can be now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That, maybe that could be our password. And a baby rhino. I I um hand fed a giraffe. Feeding the baby feeding the baby giraffe. <laughs> and feeding the baby giraffe. <laughs> now we can come up with a better one than that, I think. That's cool. But yeah, what well, I assume you went to the zoo. This wasn't just on I the went to shops. Portland uh Safari Zoo down on the South Coast. Is that the open safari thing where you drive your car through and baboons take your car apart? Kind of. They they drive you through. You don't drive yourself. You go in like a truck and they drive around. And but they it's fucking huge. Really cool place. Like massive open space. They've got uh, like one. There's one of the big areas they got. It's huge. Okay, it's about a hundred acres or something, and it's got like a couple of rhinos in it, a bunch of wildebeest, uh, a, a, some loads of random deer and stuff. It's got a load of giraffes in there, and they all just hang out. So that's all the herbivores in one pen. Yeah, they don't stick no, the lions. No lions in there. in there. They're separate. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, it was cool. We got to go around in a truck, and you know, the lady like shouted at the giraffes for a while in a you know in a pleasant manner, not in an aggressive. <laughs> oh, you pricks! Kentish manner with their blue tongues. And they uh, got blue tongues or giraffes. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. Young actually. giraffes in the, in your case. But uh, yeah, I used to like I, 
I still like it. I think the last year I went to it made me a bit sad, so I haven't really been back since. This one was really good. I was kind of apprehensive going there, you know, because it's a bit of a. I mean, they the guy said for to put it in perspective, he was like, "This field, one field that we're in, is about a hundred acres. The entirety of London Zoo is thirty acres. So you know, they had this okay. one of their. It was a huge. You know, I'm. You know, it's not the same as being in the wild, but also, you know, everything they showed us. You know, everything that they had there was there. For, for like conservation breeding you know is endangered okay. and critically endangered species that were there to, or they were going to die anyway or something like yeah that. well they they were running you know almost like probably 90 95 percent of the stuff they had there was there for breeding programs where you know they'd be breeding out particular bloodlines and they're exchanging animals with other collections to to keep you know uh, the, the genetics mixed and and trying to reintroduce animals into the wild when it's you know appropriate it's not good at the moment because everyone's just shooting rhinos but you know it, it was so much you know it was all about conservation it wasn't you know that place was totally not you know here's some animals in a tiny enclosure for you to go and like wank okay. over or whatever if i introduced a flock of wild condors back mm. to the wild yeah so Jurassic Park yo <laughs> that's yeah, what that is that's that from okay <laughs> I just felt I had to tell you that because your face was blank it's like yeah that's a good point Liam Wild Condors um, I watched um, I watched Saving Private Ryan on Friday I haven't watched that for a while and um, I watched it on TV the other day yeah it's nice. pretty sweet it's a great film uh, we we I was watching the whole thing I was trying to like think of other random films that people in it had been in because there's a lot of like famous people in that mm. And um, it was quite funny seeing Vin Diesel was like not the main character. It's probably the only film in his oh, life shit, that he's yeah. been in, not been the main character. And he actually, uh, he, you know, he gets killed pretty early. He does. Spoiler alert. Uh, but but the one that I would clock, that I looked up at the end. I was like, oh yeah, fucking that guy is little um little fucking dweeby Wayne. nerd pants. The guy who's got the pencil who like comes along. He grabs him in the beginning with his typewriter to come along and like okay yeah be yep. the radio man or something. Yeah, and he goes along with them the whole way. He's like the little puss. They kind of push around and they joke and tell him that foobar's a German word. And he finally gets told what it is at the end. And and at the end, he just watches that guy. We well, doesn't watch him, but that guy gets stabbed and he just like shits his pants. And the guy, German soldier, walks yeah, that's past. horrible, isn't it? It's pretty grim, yeah. But you know, so little little puss in boots. He, um, I was like, what the fuck is he from? And he's um, he was uh, the, he was in Lost as the. Smoke monster. No, the polar bear. The scientist dude. Um, Her- who's Hershey. The, who's the famous? Uh, I, uh, I didn't watch Lost past season one or two, oh, um, and okay. because it died. Fine. Yeah, but Daniel Faraday. He plays Daniel Faraday in Lost. There you go. Daniel Faraday. Okay. Right. I'm oh. gonna jump to Ben's Have mic. Look, look at this picture of him. That guy. Oh. I don't recognise him at all. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. That's just there a, are some wha- that's just some Asian. There? What did you search for? <laughs> that's a, uh, lost scientist. <laughs> 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 I think this is just some guy who's been lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll rein it in there because we're nearly an hour, so I think that's a good good stopping point. Okay, what's going to be our word so pe- we know that people watched right to the end? It's not going to be banjo. Last time it was banjo. Mm. No, well, not last time, the last podcast, but the last time we did something this long, well, hey. What if, we, if we make it El Dorado? El Dorado. Leave the word El Dorado in the comment if you listen right to the end. It's a tricky one to fit sneakily into a sentence, but yeah, have a crack. That's, that's, that's half the fun. Give us your best shot. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll, um, I'll, we'll try and get this up on a podcast service soon. Leave a comment if you've got any questions for us to, or topics you want us to chat about next time. And let us know what you thought yeah. and, and click it a like. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Spo- right. Sponsored by SoundCloud. Sponsored by, not sponsored <laughs> by SoundCloud <laughs> or anyone. Or Lotus Biscuits. Oh, Nice one. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. See you later.